Oh, what we got going on here today? It's 58 in here. Today is Friday, 1236. Uh, 58 degrees outside. I don't believe it. The high, you do the low. The low is going to be 22 today. Um, and it's uh, finished. Doing a little sanding I have to do on this car. Um, I guess people didn't pick up on it. Why I won't push this car. So I'll go over that real quick. You know, some people think I'm fucking stupid. No, I'm dumb, but I'm not stupid, okay? We'll just leave it at that. These uh, lug nuts are metric. They kinda thread on. Kind is not good. Anyway, not even gonna go there. So I'm gonna work on this car today. And when winter time comes, gets over. Oh, commercial break. Shake it them. You start uh, moving stuff around. Um, have I mentioned buy in bulk that's how stores make money they buy shit in bulk and then sell it individually but um i don't think anybody's grasping what the shoe is spitting out but that's okay it's the days of me doing videos every day no i think i'm pretty well set up um the floor didn't come out as clean as I wanted. Oil-based paint does not stick to galvanize, nor does anything stick to galvanize. Uh, I did the uh, uh, epoxy paint on the floor and it fucking peeled. You guys seen that. I did the oil base on it, taped the plastic to the floor and it fucking peeled on me. I don't think there's nothing known to man or the shoe's too fucking cheap they buy the shit that's real deal. I don't know, man. Cause I'm not powder coating that. And I'm not, fuck, I don't know what to do with this, but whatever. It kind of disheartens me, you know? But it is what it is, what it's fucking gonna be tomorrow. And I want everything to fucking be perfect. And it's not. So like Milo says, embrace the things you don't like. What I gather from that, less anxiety, less stress, realize that you can't change everything in life. Sometimes you just gotta set things that you really don't like and just move on. Otherwise your blood pressure will go up and yeah, I'm real good at that. And the older you get, it don't get no easier, I tell you that. It don't get no easier. And what it says today is Normal again. We'll see if Pat Man brings the lug nuts out tonight, today. I say nine chances out of ten he won't. I've been asked for two weeks for the lug nuts. I asked him last week to bring out his rear window so I can lay it in. He didn't. I'm, no, I'm sorry. My boss. We'll see if he does today. Nine chances out of ten. I don't think he will. I'm done bitching about it, I'm just talk, done talking about it, and I'm done with the bullshit, to tell you the truth. She doesn't ask for a whole lot. He asks for hundreds, and he asks for what he needs. I'll give you a fucking example. Yeah, the shoe gets hot, because there's a fucking reason, okay? The deal with this car was, I wanted to have all the paint, and all the reducer. That paint will equal that reducer. We got two quarts of paint, one for the stripe, and that goes with that. Is there any reducer for that? No. The shoe is not using his, it's not gonna happen. And I asked him to buy two gallons of clear with hardener, and, and he didn't wanna buy two gallons, but I told him, if you buy two gallons, that way I won't run out, because if I run out, I will not use my material, and, and the job's done. But anyway, I told him, you buy two gallons of clear, and whatever I don't use, 
I will buy it back. See, I got two gallons. That's my personal stock, okay? That's mine. I got two slick sands because the shoe ain't running out. I got a 2K backup. Shoe got three cans. A primer here. We got some reducer. This is all fucking money. And I'll be goddamned if I'm digging into my supply. That's why this shit starts rubbing me. Oh yeah, they had a sale. Boom, go and get some. It's not the highest end brand, but you know what? For the crash of birds I plan on doing, VW Darren, I really need a price on the mold clamps. I'm not mad. I just would really like to have a price on the mold clamps to see what I can afford. I know mold clamps are expensive. I know that. I ain't disputing that. You, I appreciate you showing the video. I appreciate you showing me the... Uh, tower slash frame straightener. We've talked about that. I need to know a price on the mold clamps. Yes, I'm excited. I've been looking a long time. I'm not pushing you, but I'm not asking again for a price. Maybe those mold clamps aren't meant to be mine. I don't know. This is what I learned in life. I don't chase women. I don't chase money and I don't chase materialistic things. If you chase anything in life, all you're going the shoe is gonna do is burn his fucking tennis shoes out. I chase shit. I bought a body shop, lost five thousand seven hundred and seventy-one dollars and eleven fucking cents. I remember to this day, because it was my hard-earned money. Because I chased something. So that being said. I'm not gonna chase no more. Never haven't chased for a long time. And tomorrow I'll show you a video of you gotta give up something to get something. <clears throat> My man Nick at the tattoo parlor. He has been paying on that sport well, sporty, the Harley Davidson, the purple one, the flames, for a year and a half. And tomorrow he's making his last payment. Do I wanna see that bike go? No, I don't wanna fucking see it go, because I put my soul into it when I build shit personally. But I had to get rid of something because I started to run out of capital to finish this. I'm gonna miss the bike. Sometimes you gotta let shit go. I don't think people are grasping that fucking shit either. But what happened? Fucking tired of talking. And certain individuals don't listen, fuck it. She don't know shit. I know the shoe, he forgets to explain things thoroughly. You know that $5,771.11 motherfucking cents that I lost on the body shop? Let me make this clear. I won a body shop, bid on it, for $55,555. That's what I wanted for. You take fucking what, 10%, 8% or whatever the fuck it is. So I give the man $5,771.11 fucking cents. Okay. The building was called, the body shop was called DC Collision. The man lost it because he fucking got hooked up on crack to tell you the fucking truth. I know the man. He had the body shop for 10 years. The body shop closed the fuck down for about two years. It went back on back taxes. I want it on the auction. I give the city. $5,771.11 motherfucking cents. I assumed it was my motherfucking bus that if you own a body shop and it never turns into anything else, it's still a body shop. It's grandfathered in. You don't have to have a, uh, whatever year I wanted in, they say you gotta have that year's spray booth. I didn't realize it. That isn't where that spray booth came from. This building had its own spray booth. The city fucking come up in there and says, nope. That ain't how it goes. Really? Ain't no such thing as grandfathered in. You know, there's some crooked motherfuckers, I'm gonna tell you that right now. 
Because I got a few friends got a fucking businesses and shit was bringing up all of it. But that's not here nor fucking there. So I had 30 days I owned a fucking body shop. Couldn't go in it. Because they wanted to the rest their money. As I did my motherfucking research, research, I realized I got screwed. So I walked away. This is what the fire marshal wanted. I ain't never heard this shit either. The fire marshal told me personally that I had to have a box outside this business with the key, and I had to give him a key to put a set of my keys to the building in the box so he could waltz the fuck in there anytime he wanted to. I ain't never heard that shit either. After I started hearing all this shit, and then I assumed that the tools, the compressor stuff that was in the body shop, I would get. Oh no, they sold those motherfuckers off. See, the rest of the story is, I was working with a realtor to buy this building before it went on auction and everything was included. Then the fucking bank got a hair in their ass and wanted to go to auction, so they let it go to auction. Because the shoe didn't fucking own information, so the shoe got stuck up his ass. My boss. But here's the funny thing about it. Things are weird in life. I was pissed for a long time, two years. But you know what? Within eight months after I bought that, bought that business and walked away from it, the fucking economy crashed. She would have lost it. I would have, I know. I look back and say, damn, because I was so fucking pissed. I did a ranger, no, I'm sorry. I did a total Dodge truck made it into a Super B. I worked on it all summer to get the money, put it down on that spray boot, I mean on that DC collision, and I fucking sold it, gave him the money, gotcha. What's the moral of the story? Don't chase a fucking thing in life. Never. There's gonna be some hurdles, some little speed bumps, but when you gotta gnaw and claw up a mountain to get what you want, it wasn't meant to be. Cause we don't see the big fucking picture in life sometimes. Trust me. You can make an effort to get something, but if you gotta fight tooth and nail, now I'm telling you, all you're gonna get is bloody fucking fingers. That's all you're gonna get. I'm gonna explain this one too, then the shoe's gonna go on the sand cause the shoe don't like the sand. Oh yeah, therapy. Yeah, I've been to therapy and I'm gonna tell you what, them motherfuckers ain't no smarter than you are, you know? Start having problems with life, whatever the fuck, Chuck. Get down, bumming, depressed, whatever the fuck you want to call it. You go there, you tell them motherfucking stories, they'll never give you no goddamn answers. Trust me. And I want to know what they say in that little fucking tape recorder that they got. Anyway, this is years ago. She will not go there no more. Fuck all that. Here's my point. You want to know the shoes therapy? The shoes therapy. Check this shit out. Y'all seen uh, therapies around your town? You know, fucking shrink, whatever the fuck, Chuck. You ever seen a motherfucking Harley Davidson parked in front of one of them motherfuckers? Nah. No, you haven't. Check it out. That's therapy. There you go. That's 